How cool is that? Look at these. Let me zoom in. There's a Mustang up there. And then on top of one of the buildings is a chrome bumper vet. That's pretty cool. As these people find these things, they just leave them here at this junkyard. As far as I know, they're not for sale. And some of them are more than salvageable. Okay guys, we're back out here. I worked on this last night. I videotaped it, haven't posted it. I did uh, this jam in here. In fact, operate that latch. I didn't do the jam. I gave it a basic wipe and a basic clean and put the paper on it. That's good enough for now. This right here, the door we slid off. I came in here, removed all the seam seal that sticks out like I did on the other side. Here and here you got that little surfacey crap. That's no problem, we'll grind it away. I'm gonna pull the striker off in the front. I just have them run outside to get the tools. This one over here was a uh, seam seal or whatever it was that they dripped all down the side. Uh, there's more remnants of it somewhere, I just haven't gotten there yet. So I just scraped it off just to keep from clogging up anything. Some stuff we're going to have to strip, some we're not going to. Um, got no choice. This has to look decent when you look in here too. We're going up to this edge right here with rocker shirts this lip tapers down so even if the seal hits the bottom it's not gonna hit this this is tapered down so we got a the sill plate goes to here and almost to the edge so this is like from this line here to this line here I'm not really worried about um, but this all has to look good in here okay has to look good up to maybe we'll come up to this line then the rest will hand sand all here and then we'll grind what we have to here and this hinge is just covered with dirt and uh, guide coat so then we got to come in here we got to feather this edge we got some work but um, it's not going to be a total strip down uh, I don't think it's required I laid some plastic across here gently I think we're fine it's been four full days uh, I've kept it at 70 degrees so that should be fine. Uh, so I got Junior's electric sand. I'm not going to waste my time with the air DA because I got a bigger selection of small pads. Um, and I have my red angle grinder with an assortment of shit too. So we'll come in here, put my respirator on, and uh, let's get working. Okay, remember that scuff and shoot? Well, you shouldn't have known better. Uh, we just got to get right here. Then we'll continue on to the back door. Um, got everywhere I had to get here. Up there. Front of here. Back around. All up into here. All up into that little crack there. Went back onto the uh, primer that's over there, which we're going to scuff again. Uh, those hinges are cleaned. I just have to reclean them obviously. Um, stripped off the epoxy or whatever was there with fender bolts. We'll reapply all that. And uh, yeah, we'll go back over this with a little finer after we take care of this. I gotta run out and get pliers, or the torques to get that out. Then I can get in there. But uh, yeah, that's fine. Gotta remember this is outside of the car. It's so always coming down here. So just like last time from here to here. Whoops. Gotta make sure it's mint. Got this window frame. Gotta come back. I got tape in one of them. I think it's this one. So um here we're getting there. We got the uh, next couple of days to get this done. And then uh I'll get a uh, epoxy and one or two coats of high build on there just to seal in the epoxy uh, maybe not maybe not we'll see how it looks with epoxy um, and call it good 
we'll move on. Yeah, we, it's definitely going to take me a couple days to get this done, along with prep the doors. Uh, the doors are only done where the hinges are, if you guys remember. Um, pretty much. So, yeah, we're getting we're home to do it. The back has no chips and no shit. This had all chips from like the seatbelt landing there and your feet dragging across the tip of the rocker. Oh, baloney. That's why your rocker shoots us. So when you start dragging your foot across there, it just doesn't take it out. Um, but yeah, I'm going to take a break. Lunchtime. That's it for today. We got all our areas, feathered them out. Did all in here, feathered all that out up there. Started getting the frame, whoops, started getting the door, so we can't lube that till we're done. When window frame is done, it's, no need to strip it. Like I said, back here and the door is not done, but we went all the way back. This is all done. And tomorrow I'll pop this out and finish here and finish stuffing the hinges and stuff like that. Then a little work to the door. It should be quick, so if I remember right, I think I did everything on that door. I did. The front of that door is done, the back of the door is done. Uh, I think we've got to do the window frame and just base some, some basic stuffing on the door. So that's what the majority of the work is. This is going to look good when it's done. Plus the paint's going to stick, so it matters, right? And uh, we're good. We don't have to take it down any further than this. I mean, when I'm done, I'm definitely going to go over it. I'm going to start going over it in little areas. Um, but I shouldn't have to strip too much more. Just, I'm going to get here. I might as well get that paint off. Oops, over here. And that's it. And we'll come hit it with a finer grit and a scotch bright pad. Make sure I got no shininess anywhere. Uh, I want to go back over this upper edge, which you can see I've gotten. Make sure I got it all back there. So, I did this edge of the body, this edge of the door, this edge of the door, because I've never done it with all those coats of high build. Did the back side of the door, the back side of the door, and all that. So, that's a nice clean gap. It's all metal. And that's what we're staying with. So, and this looks uniform. And the amount it's in and in is the same. And if you we're good enough. Uh, that's it, guys. Pull the rest right off. I'm calling it. I'm tired. Didn't even have the heat on today. I'm hot as hell. I came out here with a sweatshirt. How hot is it? Uh, it's only like 70 that's hot enough so we'll put these back on I got these things regulated for 70 degrees so I'll peel this plastic back too I don't want it laying on the clear and uh, we'll call it for tonight that's it we're done <laughs>